As an avid watcher of secular talk, I have noticed more often than not how Kyle and his audience like to point out the hypocrisy of the far right, as though by destroying the fascists with facts and logic, and triggering the conservatoids will magically make them give a fuck about their own cognitive dissonance. And on the other hand, many, not all of course, but many left-wingers within this very same group of people, including Kyle Kalinske himself, are free speech absolutists, believing that any form of censorship is wrong, even if that censorship is done in efforts to preserve the institution of free speech itself. The browns belong in camps. The blacks belong in camps. The trans belong in camps. We will deport all of the deplorables out of the country and establish a true America, a real America. The weak will be purged, and the strong will survive. Ha 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 Both sides are equally meek. Both sides are equally weak. Both sides have valid arguments. We must learn to respect balance in all things. Hey, look, it's a group of fascists. I better put an end to that. No, he has some points. You need to let him speak his piece. He does have a right to free speech, after all. But he literally just advocated for genocide and deporting anybody he doesn't like. Don't you think it's kind of a bad idea to let someone like that have a platform? Hail Trump! Hail victory! I propose we make him dictator for life, suspend the Constitution, and end free speech for everybody that we don't like. Ha 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 ha! Okay, so now he just advocated for putting an end to democracy and to free speech in the Constitution and establishing a permanent dictatorship. We've got to put this to an end, buddy. No, you can't go over there and stop him from talking. That's censorship. That's fascism. Don't you know you're no better than him trying to silence his speech to silence all speech? Here, I'll show you how to handle it. Watch this. Wait a second. What are you about to do? I'm about to show you how to battle someone in the marketplace of ideas. Look at you, righty, claiming to want small governments while advocating for big governments. Ironic, huh? Hey, this is a private meeting. Do you have an invitation? No, I don't. You can't just interrupt a private meeting, sir. And yet here I am, destroying you with facts and logic. All right, I've had enough of your bullshit. Let me at him. Alas, you are a hypocrite. Your ideology has been defeated in the marketplace of ideas. Wait, stay away from me. Ooh, that hurts! Right-wingers are frequently called out on gleefully supporting the actions of the Trump administration, branding Antifa a terrorist group, cracking down on the First Amendment, the militarization of the police, the tear-gassing and brutalizing of peaceful protesters, and the black-bagging done by the federal government of political dissidents. Right now, I'm speaking to the liberals in my audience. This video goes out to you. I'm here to give you a really important tip. There is no such thing as hypocrisy in the mind of someone that believes everything that they do is 100% justified. I repeat, the far right does not give a damn about being principled or philosophically consistent. They're not here to have an intelligent conversation. They are not here to make the world a better place. For the world outlook of the far right is inherently contradictory, intellectually weak, and based purely on impulse and irrational fear. All they care about is winning and crushing anybody who stands in their way. They're not much different from a theocratic fundamentalist doing terrorist attacks and killing people, even though in their holy book it may say, Thou shall not kill. And you can even point this out to the radical theocrat if you like but most likely they'll just skin you alive on the spot anyways, because you're a godless heathen. And in the same vein that the theocrat does not care if he's violating his own principles if it means crushing the Lacantian other, so too does the far right not think twice about shredding the constitution up and flushing it down the toilet if it means cracking down on people that they think are un-American and are ultimately a threat to their society and ideology. Allow me to pose a question to you, liberal. Do you have any idea how many social barriers one must overcome in order to become, a, say, a Nazi or a fascist? And when taking that into account, all the barriers that must be overcome, the layers of ideology that one must wrap their brain around, do you really think people like this can be reasoned with? Do you really think that you can think dialectically and move their minds towards a more progressive direction? Of course not. They're reactionaries. They're ideologically committed in the same vein as the theocrat. They want you dead. I repeat, the far right wants you dead. Because in their eyes, 
you are not a real American. You are just a useful idiot to the secret Jewish commie reptilian cabal that seeks to take the American dream, bend it over a table, and then shove a 12-inch strap-on up its ass. You are a representation of progress, a representation of everything they hate. Because in their minds, society is in a state of moral decay and in a state of degeneracy. And we have to return to an idealized time long lost that never was. A time when things were pure. A back in a time when the world made sense. Ultimately, these people are fascists. They're reactionaries. They're reacting. They're not acting. They're driven by impulse, by emotion. Not higher cognitive ability or logic or reason. It's pure feels with these people, despite the, all the projection from the likes of Ben Shapiro. So do you want to know what you can do for our cause that is far more productive than pointing to the fecal filiac that he's covered in shit and then saying, Hey, you say you're a fan of great hygiene, and here you are, covered in shit. Want to know what's far more productive than that? Anti-fascist action. Remember... Any and all violence that you unleash upon the far right is self-defense, because in a world where we stay complacent and let them have things their way, they will destroy everything that you know and love. Fascist regimes historically, and to this day, are no strangers to acts of extreme brutality and outright genocide if it means accomplishing their goals. So if you don't want America to turn into the sequel to Nazi Germany, then responsibility falls upon us to actively fight against the forces of reaction and not be the silent majority complicit in the rise of fascism.